Hi, this is Eric Elliott. Welcome to a JavaScript quick tip. Today I want to talk to you about promises. So let's just switch over to the screen real quick. Um, what I want to talk to you about is our tendency to use promises in a series and a waterfall when we should be using these promises in parallel. So the first thing that we should probably look at is this bad request up here. In this version, is so none of these have dependencies on each other. So what we want to do is we want to just run these in parallel instead of in serial. If we needed, if we needed foo before we could fetch bar, then you couldn't do this. But we're going to assume that we these don't depend on each other. So you can fetch these all at the same time. Now, if we do it this way, it's not going to fetch them all at the same time. So what we want to do instead is use something like promise.all. And when we do this, when we make our requests in our promise.all, it's going to immediately launch these fetch requests. Each one of these is going to launch right away. And they won't have to wait for each other to resolve. And the result is that in the first version, this request takes nine seconds. And in the second version, it takes three seconds, which is obviously much better. Now, there's one more way you can do this. Um, this is also good. You can just kick these off without using the await keyword. Just kick them off and store them in promise variables. And then after that, await those variables. And this will take the same amount of time. This will take three seconds instead of nine seconds in this case. So um, I want you to give that a try and let me know what you think. Um, thanks a lot.